Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the toggle on product add-on and what this does is it uh, gives, <laughs> does pretty much what the title says is it toggles the visibility of an element based on the product that is selected on an order form. So uh, let me show you a quick demo of what this looks like. Um, and so we got here a, a little bit of a funnel hack I did of the one funnel away challenge funnel. So I kind of recreated this funnel and one of the things on that funnel a lot of people like is this option to uh, you select which product you want the customer customer to purchase or the customer wants to purchase based on when they click on an element it changes the product well part of how that works is by using this toggle on product add-on and so we have a product selector here that you normally wouldn't see but uh, we have our two core products here we have our our digital only version and our physical and digital version so right now we have our physical and digital is selected in our order and our product selector and you'll notice that version is checked well this whole thing is an image here and we're just toggling the visibility of two different variations of the same image based on whether this product is selected or not. So if we swap which product we select, then you'll notice our check goes to this one. So we're basically swap the visibility of an image uh, to uh, based on what product is selected. So this is just one half of a combination of add-ons that allows us to do this, is this product on toggle. The other thing you could do is if you had, um, uh, let's say you had uh, options of one, two, three, five, or 10 of a product, and you wanted to show um, a, the, a picture of the different quantities, one of a product or two side by side or three in a pack or five or 10, you could do that and just have an image and then you would stack up those images in your order form um, and, uh, or in the page editor and uh, it would hide all the ones except for the one that is actually selected. So when somebody switched from one to pick three, then you could have the image go from a picture of one to a picture of three and that um, gives the customer the the visual need that they have of like oh yeah i'm glad i picked this one because it seems like a lot more so that's another great way to use this add-on um so that's kind of what we got going here is that this uh, this um product or toggle on product gives you a couple of options gives you kind of the half of what you need to get going with uh, doing some uh, product selector like this or you can also use it um, in combination with just a regular um, product selector here um, to swap images and what's visible on a page you can actually use it with any element on your page it's not just for images you could use it to hide different rows you could use it to show uh, or I should say show different things based on what, what somebody uh, picks on their product selector so um, there's a lot of things that you can actually do with this um, but uh, that's kind of just a quick example and I hope you like it and I hope you put it to good use